Hello mga kabaks! Kung ikaw ay bago pa lang sa ating channel, pinutin nga lang ang subscribe button at notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago videos. Ngunit maraming salamat at enjoy sa pananawa. Challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with white trim, fighting out of San Leandro, California, by way of General Santos City, Mindanao in the Philippines. He weighed in at a ready 111 and one half pounds, with a record of 17 wins and one defeat. He has 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current NABF champion, ranked the number eight IBF world contender. He is known as the Filipino Flash, introducing Nonito Donaire. Wearing black trunks, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, by way of Banazor Armenia. He weighed in at the flyweight limit of 112 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 28 wins, no losses, 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making the seventh defense of his title. Here is the undefeated IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world known as the Raging Bull. advance. <laughs> we'll soon find out, Al. I like that explanation. Something, unfortunately, I never had. You know, no, I, I mean, he's a fighter that comes forward dealing. Donaire's a particularly fast starter in general. It'll be interesting to see if he can get up to it here. Archinian does not hit hard, and you can see the punches coming. Archinian's response, he was toying with Glenn that night. He didn't punch as hard as he usually does. In the first half of round one, he's been hit more than we've seen him in all the fights, and he's getting whacked by right Tony. Just got a hit, which is the correct thing to do, and another wild swing and a match can really wear you down. Boy, Donaire uh, kind of buckled there. Well, we don't know how long this is all going to last, but for now, Nonito Donaire is having his way with Victor Chinian. There's the right hand. Even those wild punches by Donaire don't get countered by Darginia. And it's not really just the right hand either. There's a nice left counter left hook by Donaire. The trick for Donaire was to counter well as Darginia came in, and for the most part, he has done it. Excellent opening round for the challenger, Donito Donaire. In the red and white, 17 and 1 with 10 knockouts. And, and it's a good one. Oh, how about that? To the head. He has times been fight since. Oh, Archinian got nailed and then he came back. Here's a right hand, a miss by Donaire with the left hand. And of those Dartinian big punches, Donaire has to be extinct of uh, Victor Archinian. Amazing! <laughs> that was a seminal moment in this fight. A big left hand by Dartinian. I don't know if he's winning it, but it's been better. Well, he's usually a slow starter. There's Dartinian, but the Donaire standing Looking tough, developing into an interesting affair. Well, as we mentioned earlier, back in October, well, it, it, it must be working to this point because uh, young Nonito were uh, faring pretty well as we had round three. And you know, round two, I have to sit around. He did come back very well, and now body work by Darchinian's uh, finding the range with the uh, Steve. They change. They can't use their skills. That hasn't happened yet. And you saw that team right? Big left hand. Oh, there's a big left hand that staggered that chin. He's never been hurt or dropped in his career. Go there. Sensing the moment. The chin battles back. Pacing to another hard left hand to the chin by Go there. Ironic that a left hook has been the big weapon for Go there. Surprising. So things really getting intriguing here. This is the first time we've seen Victor Archinian in any kind of trouble. We'll see how he responds in this situation. Round four, Jeff, with the undefeated record at stake as well. Now, Archinian's dad is here to 
see his fight only the second time he's seen his son fight as a pro in in right now. Darchet is able to get that left hand when he used first when he used Wolin on Darchet right now. This is Wally with a shin. So the eyes are becoming a factor for Darchet. And it's really The big height and reach advantage stays on the outside. Nice counter left there by Donaire. Another counter there by D'Artagnan. And a spin on the ball. That was fun. <laughs> Works better than basketball. <laughs> it's true. Final seconds of the round. And D'Artagnan ends it with a straight left to the chest. Let's get it over to our Jim. Thank you very much, Jim. Boy, he made me nervous. <laughs> they are two different kinds of fighters. Donaire, a face-first thrower, and a little more of a tactical technician. For a while, scheduled for 12 IBF flyweight belt on the line. The champion, Darchinian, was the challenger in the red. No, Nico Donaire, nice shot to the... Yes. Uh, in, in his last 12-round fight, uh, Donaire against Oscar Andrade won the last three rounds dramatically to win that pursuit. Manchester's drilling over here. defense. You have to admire the courage of Darchinian and the will. As hurt as he was, trying desperately to get up and continue. And clearly we know he was hurt. And uh, you see there, just not doing well. And from above, we get a chance to see how well that left hook landed. It was just a perfect power left hook by No Need to there. And, you know, we talked about how the left hook had been successful early in the fight and really was the surprise weapon tonight. We would have expected the right hand to be more of a weapon for Donaire and his undefeated streak. And as he lunges in, you see the right hand very low for Dutchini, keeps it very low, walks into a left hook, and that unalterably changed this fight and ended it. Donito Donaire coming down. From in round number five, our referee in charge, Eddie Claudio, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout and the new IBF and IBO.